Hello, so um, it's going to be a quick video on printing from Power Apps. Um, printing from Power Apps is actually quite difficult. There's no native support in there for doing that really. Um, I'm building an app at the moment that has a requirement to be able to print to any printer in the business. There's three offices, 15 printers, so I needed an easy to use solution that could work for the end user. So let me just show you what I've done and then I'll show you how it works. So here is a SharePoint list of documents. And all I want to do is, uh, in fact, I'm just going to pick a particular document, turn the filters off. All I want to do is to be able to print this um, to any printer that I feel like printing it to. Um, so if I click on uh, print, then up comes the document in the PDF viewer. I can pick my printer and press print and hopefully the printer behind me should kick in any moment which it is doing now and give me the document yeah there's the document so how does that work so first of all the first thing you need is to go to print node and sign up for their Sign up for a free trial. It takes 10 minutes to set up. You basically sign up and then download um, a little piece of client software that you install on a machine in the building that has access to the printers. Um, and as long as the PC you install it on, PC or server you install it on can reach the printers, you're good to go. Once you've installed, you get a little web server on your machine where you define which printers you want to make available. So I've selected these two. Um, and then they get assigned a unique ID from um, PrintNode. Um, and these are quite key. So the next thing I've done is set up a SharePoint list with my print def printer definitions. So that just has the PrintNode ID and the description, the location and an image. And that was what you saw in, uh, in here. This drop down list is just drawing from that SharePoint list. So. In the actual Power App, all this is doing is executing a flow called print via print node, um, which then sends the document off to print node to be printed. I'll make a new flow now um, just to show you how it works, and then uh, and then you know how to do it. So I'm just going to do instant from blank Power Apps create. I'm going to create the three variables that I need to make it work, which is the print node ID, um, print node ID, the path of the SharePoint document, and the name of the document. So initialize variable, initialize variable, initialize variable. You'll see why I'm doing it this way in a minute. Um, it'll make more sense. So name, I'm going to call this um, print node ID. Type is a string. I'm going to rename it. Print node ID. Okay. Print. Print. That's really handy. Okay, let's try it again. Rename print. It's because I haven't filled out these ones. Um, PDF path string and document name string. Then I'm going to go and then rename them print node ID. Rename PDF path and then rename document name. And then so the values are going to be asking power apps, asking power apps, and asking power apps. And your new step, and then we're going to say get file path. So we say get file content using a path from SharePoint. 
the site address is document management test and the file path I need to make this an expression I'm going to say decode data URI decode data URI and then the dynamic content will be the PDF path and then we'll do another new step which is going to be a compose here we're going to construct the JSON which needs to go to print node and I'm just going to copy and paste that from over here and so fill in the blanks print, printer ID is the print node ID title is the document name content type is always base64 and the content um, is again actually going to be an expression I'm going to do base 60 decode uh, base 64 and then the dynamic content is the content of the file so that's given us our JSON now we need to do a HTTP and then the method is going to be post the URI is this we do need to authorize, so we need to add a header, and the value is going to be an expression which just has basic authentication and then my API key. And then the body is the output of the compose. So let's save that. I didn't give it a name, which I need to do. Oh, it's got a horrible name as well. So we'll call this um, print node demo. Save that. So if we go back to my Power App, I'm just gonna get rid of this and then go to Power Automate and then there's our demo one and there's the one that I had before. So I'll add this in. And it's gonna go onto that button because that's what I had selected. And then it wants the parameters. And you can see the named parameters now are what I specified in the variable names. So the ID is going to be the drop down, drop down select printer dot selected dot printer ID PDF path is a variable that's passed to this page PDF URL and then PDF name and that should be it let's test press print will the printer kick in doesn't sound like it's working. Let's go and see what happened. Come on. Okay, let's go and look at the run history. Okay, so it failed. Let's have a quick look why. Get file content using path. And it didn't like my uh, yeah I thought I put a expression in there decode URI component decode URI component and then dynamic content PDF path. Okay, so let me just check some of the others. Okay, let's resave that and we'll test using the previous run. I can hear the printer kicking in, so that's good. And that is really all there is to it. So, in a way, print node takes that weakness in Power Apps and actually enhances it to the point where it's easier than 
dealing with printing inside of a, a fully fledged app. Um, there's really not a lot to it. You just specify the idea of the printer and uh, give it some content to print and away you go. So um, I hope that all makes sense. I think I did make a little mistake somewhere, but uh, anyway, it seems to be working now. So let's just go back to the app, press print, and then uh, all being well, it should work. The printer's kicked in, so uh, that all works. Hope that's helpful. Um, there's a blog post as well, which obviously goes into more detail. This is just a quick video demo, but um, I think this is gonna work really well. It's user friendly. I like the picture of the printer because that can provide a visual prompt. You know, if you take photos of uh, the printers actually in situ in the office, then it'll make it easy for people to know where that, uh, where that printer, printer is because it will give them a visual reminder. And um, print notes that easy to use. It's, it's quite inexpensive, but you know, I'll let you be the judge of that. And obviously it does require a, a Flow Premium license because you're using that HTTP connector. Um, but see how you get on, it's a good solution and uh, hope it helps. Cheers, bye bye.